Battle of Antria was a Finnish Civil War battle, fought in Antria and Jaski, Finland in 11 February, 25 April 1918 between the Finnish Whites against the Finnish Reds. It was fought by the Viberg Joensuu Railroad between Viberg, the Red Capital in eastern Finland, and Antria, an important railroad junction 30 km north of Viberg. The Reds targeted Antria, but were stuck between the railway stations of Karvansari and Hanala, and the nearby villages of Avula and Polila. The most fierce battles were fought in Avula which was a highway crossing few kilometers west of the railroad. For the last nine weeks the warfare was mostly trench warfare. Therefore, the battles in Avula were called as the Verdun of Finland, after the famous 1916 Battle of Verdun, although its size is not anything compared with the one of World War I. The battle ended in late April, as the Whites attacked Viberg from further east and the Reds pulled back to defend the city. Chapter 1, Units Chapter 1 Section 1, Whites The White Army in Antria Front included the paramilitary White Guards, the Jaeger troops and the Karelian Army. It was first commanded by Colonel Lieutenant Hermann Warren Jelm who was replaced in 12 February by Captain Arne Sivo and Valdemar Heglund, as his staff officer. Chapter 1 Section 2 Reds The Red units were composed of the Red Guards from Viberg area and further from the Usimar region of southern Finland from Helsinki, Vanta, Huvinka, and Mansala. Helsinki Red Guard included the famous Jury Company, which was an elite squad composed of the members of the Working Class Athletes Club Jury Helsinki. Also a unit of the Women's Red Guard took part at the battle. The Russian Volunteer Brigades came from St. Petersburg, Moscow, and Siberia. They all left the Antria front in late February as the armistice between Soviet Russia and the German Empire was broken and the troops were needed elsewhere. A group of Baltic fleet sailors were still fighting later in March in Avala. The Reds were commanded from by the Red Guards General Staff in Viberg, but they also had a local base in Karvansari. The commander in chief in Karvansari was the little known factory worker A. Backman. Even his accurate identity is not clear, but Backman was presumably captured and then killed by the Whites in early May. Chapter 2 The Battles Chapter 2 Section 1, White Retreat from V. Berg Three days before the start of the war, the Whites attempted to take V. Berg under their control but failed. The 300-men unit fled the town and headed south across the ice of V. Berg Bay to the small island of Venijansari. The 26th of January the Whites decided to head north of V. Berg to Antria and meet their main forces. The squad was now led by Adolf Aminoff, a 62-year-old retired colonel of the Russian Imperial Army. It crossed the St. Petersburg Railway in the village of Kamara, where they had a clash with the Red Guards. The Battle of Kamara, is considered to be the first battle of the Finnish Civil War. After beating the Reds by the Kamara station, the Whites ambushed a Red train on its way from St. Petersburg to Finland. The so-called Great Gun Train was carrying a large cargo of rifles, artillery pieces and ammunition. It was escorted by a squad of 400 members of the St. Petersburg Finnish Red Guard commanded by brothers Yuka and Eno Raja. The train stopped by the station and was surprised by the Whites. After the Reds got their machine guns into shooting positions, the Whites fled Kamara, and continued their journey towards Antria. The battles in Kamara ended up with 18 killed Whites and up to 30 killed Reds. The Whites finally reached Antria in 28 January. The local White Guards had taken the railway stations of Kavatsari and Hanala a day earlier. Chapter 2 Section 2 The Early Stage As the war started in 27 January, the Viberg Reds advanced towards Antria along the Viberg Joensu Railway. In 1 February they took the railway station in Tailai, 10 km north of Viberg, and the next day the Kasami station 5 km further north. In 9 February the Reds took the Karvansari railway station after a minor battle with the Whites. A day later the Reds lost it, but the next day they got reinforcements and took the station back again. 
The 11th of February the Reds also attacked the station of Hanala, but failed. Instead, they took the villages of Seistala and Avula located few kilometers west of the railroad. Avula was an important highway crossing of the Viberg Imatra and the Viberg Antria highways. In 12 February, the white commander Hermann Warn Jelm ordered his men to retreat from Hanala across the Voxi River, but the captain Arne Sivo refused to follow the order. Instead, Sivo ordered his men to attack Avula, which the whites then took. They also made a failed attack against Carvansari. Warn Jelm was now dismissed and replaced by Sivo. The Reds in turn, lost a large number of their strength in the following days as the Russian volunteer brigades left the Antria front. Some minor attacks was still made, but after the 24th of February the front line was formed and the battle turned into a trench warfare. The both sides now had approximately 1,500 men in a villa and few hundred more in their other positions. Chapter 2 Section 3, Avila and Pulila Since the late February, the battle concentrated to the village of Avila, about five kilometers west of the railway. The Reds attacked against the white lines daily at 9 a.m. and then pulled back to their own trenches as the sun set. During this nine-week period, both sides lost approximately 20 men dead or wounded each day. The village of Pulila, five kilometers east of the railway, was held by the Reds. The Whites attacked the village couple of times but the attempts failed. Chapter 2 Section 4, Battles Along the Railway The five-kilometer part of the railway between Kavansari and Hanala was controlled by armored trains, so there was little infantry activity. The Reds had a Russian armored train Ukrainsky Revolutsia which the Bolsheviks had previously used in Ukraine. The other red armored train was Pansarum No. 4, made in the Fredericksburg works in Helsinki. The Whites had an armored train called Kyalon Pelastia. It was nicknamed after the first battles in Hanala, where the train managed to hit the Reds back. The train itself was homemade, the Whites had armored open wagons with bricks and planks and equipped it with a mountain gun and machine guns. The trains made some attacks against each other but usually without heavy losses. The major incident was in 23 March as the Ukrainsky Revolutsia entered just 250 meters from the white lines and bombed the Hanala station for 20 minutes. The whites managed to hit the train with a grenade but the Ukrainsky Revolutsia was able to pull back with some help of Pansaroma No. 4 and was then sent to St. Petersburg for repairs. Chapter 2 Section 5 the White Offensive. In 23 April, the Whites launched their decisive offensive against Viberg with 15,000 men. The Antria Whites now encircled the railway 30 kilometers east via the village of Hainjoki and then closed Viberg from the east along the St. Petersburg Railway. The Reds were ordered to leave their positions and pull back to Viberg in 24 to 25 April, and the Whites' reserves left in Antria were now able to take Carvansari and Polila without any fighting. After the Battle of Viberg in 24 to 29 April, the civil war in Karelia was over. Chapter 3 Aviation Chapter 3 Section 1 Whites Two German imported DFW CV reconnaissance planes were flown to Antria, in late March under the command of the Danish Lieutenant Kud von Clausen Kass. The planes were not used in action as the Swedish pilots refused to fly in demanding conditions. On 10-11 April, six Russian pilots defected Soviet Russia and joined the Finnish Whites with a Grigorovich M9 flying boat, two Newport 10 reconnaissance planes and two Newport 17 fighters. The pilots were supporters of the Russian White Movement. From 13 April, the Russian pilots made reconnaissance flights, bombed the red positions and dropped propaganda leaflets. The planes operated from the Antria airfield in the ice of Lake Parkjavi. This is considered to be the beginning of the Finnish Air Force. Chapter 3 Section 2 – Reds the Reds had two Russian Newport flying boats which were flown by three Russian pilots. They operated from the ice of the Pantsalati Bay in V-Berg. 
The planes made at least four reconnaissance and bombing flights between late February and the end of March. Chapter 4, Culture The Finnish composer Levi Madatoja lost his brother during the Battle of Antria as Uria Madatoja was presumably captured and killed by the Reds in Kavansari 9 April. Madatoja composed a three-movement piano suite, The Garden of Death, Opus 41, for the memory of his lost brother.